Welcome back to Winter Close-Up. I'm Demetri Williams with your Eagle Sports Update. Basketball season is well on its way. I went to see what Coach Pat Kelsey had in store for the team. Coach Pat Kelsey is in his second season as head coach of the men's basketball team. He looks back on the 15 boys he's coached his first season. He says the players worked hard for their success. Um, I don't think there was a harder playing team in the Big South last year. They bled, they sweat, they cried on the floor, and, uh, and I think represented Winthrop in a, in a phenomenal way. And the team motto, do what we do. We're not flavor of the month. We don't throw spaghetti at the wall and see what, see what sticks. We're very, very consistent in our expectations on a daily basis. And that expectation is to practice harder than any team in the United States of America. One former player is proud of the work they do on the court. I love to see how hard they work in practice, just like coaches coach the expects of them. Um, I hold them accountable. I don't expect them to be the same as they were when I was here. Kelsey has a new playing style this season that he believes will be exciting not only for the players, but for the student body. I think, I think the fact that we'll be a much more up-tempo uh, team will be, uh, will be exciting to see. They've got their eye on the prize and plan to hang another championship banner. The tables have turned in college football AP rankings. South Carolina dropped 10 spots from number 11 to 21 after a touch loss to Tennessee in the last three seconds of the fourth quarter. Clemson had a devastating 52-14 defeat by Florida State University, moving them to number 9 and costing them their number 3 spot. Florida State University grabbed the number 2 spot, knocking Oregon down to number 3. To see the full AP Top 25 rankings and scores of NCAA football games, go to ESPN.com. Big Stuff has been entertaining with the fans for years, but how does one go about becoming this spirit leader? Reporter Cheyenne Lewis takes us through the process and shows us what Big Stuff has been up to lately. The Eagle mascot is the one person who can pump up the crowd and get them excited. But one question that is always asked, who is the person in the suit? Basically, Big Stuff comes to tryouts with us. We have tryouts in the spring every year and he kind of gets the feel of everything and tries out with us. And the amount of time a person is Big Stuff can be up to them, but usually it's a year-long gig. Unless Big Stuff, the person doing Big Stuff, decides to quit um, the next year, then obviously we need someone new. So other than cheering on our athletic teams and high-fiving toddlers, Big Stuff went to camp this past summer to brush up on some skills. He went to a separate part of the camp and learned different mascot things, like how to interact with the crowd, and basically be more um, crowd oriented. With Winter being a diverse university and having so many sports, I had to ask Big Stuff, what is your favorite sport? Simple. Cheerleading. <laughs> it seems as though Big Stuff is still getting used to his new look as it recently changed. When asked what his favorite thing to do as a mascot is, this is what we got. My bad. <laughs> Oh, Reporting for Winter Close Up, this is Cheyenne Lewis. We've come to the end of our Eagle Sports Update. Let's see what Leslie has for us in Arson Entertainment. Welcome to Arson Entertainment. I'm Leslie Brown. This is the season for premieres. We'll see what shows are airing, but first, our YouTube pick of the week. I am your grandma. One day, I'm going to have a baby. And you will call her mom That baby will have a baby And you will have this song to know that I am your grandma I am your grandma I am your grandma I am your grandma Welcome back to Arson Entertainment. I'm Leslie Brown. This fall hasn't brought too much cool weather, but it has brought plenty of cool new shows. 
With a surplus of new dramas, comedies, and supernatural shows, you shouldn't be flipping through channels to find something to watch. Many of the new shows have either been praised or brushed to the side. Oh my god. Well, I've heard that the, was it the Fox show? Yeah, Michael J. Fox, that it's been really bad and lots of people don't like it. So I think the originals will, work, will make it because of the show Vampire Diaries because they're really important characters. So Some networks such as The CW and ABC Family have had very successful shows running more than four or five seasons such as Supernatural and Pretty Little Liars. The CW has experience in creating shows that go on to last anywhere from seven to ten seasons. ABC Family is known for creating family-oriented shows that draw in the crowd. Um, I think the CW uh, network because they just have a lot of drama and it, like they pull you into their shows and they have a lot of emotion to them too so that like keys people and well most of them are kind of I guess you could say kid friendly and it's good for the whole family and it's not crazy language or anything going on. If these networks are able to keep the new shows on air, maybe you'll find a new favorite show to watch. Cheyenne Lewis for Winthrop Close-Up. Let us know what your favorite television shows are by writing on our Facebook page or tweeting us at Winthrop Close-Up. With numerous sites to access free music, less people are buying it and more are downloading it. Reporter Megan Mack went to find out how students get their music and what Withrop plans to do to decrease piracy on campus. Vinyls. From vinyls to CDs to MP3 files, the way we listen to music has certainly changed, as well as how we actually get our music. Before we had to go to the store to get physical discs, but thanks to the internet, free music is right at our fingertips. My number one reason is convenient, but the fact that it's also free, I'm not paying for it, it's just like, why not? With YouTube downloaders and other sites, you can download as much music as you want, keeping money in your pocket, but possibly taking it from someone else. Me being the fan that I am, I actually purchase um, my favorite artist's music, um, my favorite being Chris Brown and other artists as well. Um, I purchase the music because that's the only way I know how to show my support. But I'm not and Winthrop is making sure students not only support other artists, but abide by the law. Uh, of course, we obey all the laws, so if, if somebody comes and says, you know, somebody broke the law, we definitely uh, report them and they're handled that way. Students caught violating the Winthrop University technology policy can lose their network privileges or even face suspension from the university. So before you hit the download button, think if it's really worth it. For Winthrop Close Up, I'm Megan Mack. After months of anticipation, Nicki Minaj's new joint clothing partnership with Kmart has come into execution by officially landing into stores. The rapper has no plans to become a fashion designer, but instead wants to share clothes that suit her style with people across America. Her inspiration? She says it's higher priced luxury brands such as Versace, Chanel, and Herb Ledger. Kim Ye forever. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are now engaged. West popped the question Monday on Kardashian's 33rd birthday. The reality star and new mom confirmed the news on her Instagram account Tuesday, offering fans a close-up view of her sparkler in a photo caption. Yes, I guess third time's the charm. We end Arsa Entertainment, letting you know when the close-up t-shirts are up for grabs. For more details, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook. Chelsea? Thanks, Leslie. Whether you go for the rides or for the food, the South Carolina State Fair is here and Winthrop students are making the trip to be there. I love going to the State Fair. I try to go every year with my family and friends. The South Carolina State Fair is an annual event that began in 1869, held in Columbia, South Carolina. The State Fair offers attendees sweet treats such as cotton candy, candy apples, and funnel cake. If there's a place you like to go for fun, like the fair, or you have another story idea for us, send us an email at the address listed below. You can also stay in touch with us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at Winthrop Close Up. We'll see you next week.